<laughs> All right, guys. Here's what we're playing with today. Well, I'm excited, okay? All right, this is new from Extreme Big Bore Air Rifles, the 500 Nitro Express. That's my name. I gave it to it, and every time you use it, I want 25 cents copyright. All right. Well, the reason we call it the 500 Nitro Express is because it's shooting a 510 diameter bullet, okay? And if you look at all your bullet molds in Google search on the 500 Nitro Express, you will find out that it's a .510 diameter slug, hence the new name. Uh, this is the first one, the prototype, all right, that Brent worked on for me and Alan. Uh, this one has got a 32 inch barrel, okay? It's got the standard air reservoir and the air extension, okay? So whether you're a target shooter and you've got a little more barrel sticking out uh, and you want a little more air, this extension slips right on and you're ready to go. No extra tooling, no extra processing, uh, it's no custom fit, it's all standard size that Brent and Allen work with on all their guns, okay? So it's a nice little add-on option if you're going with that longer barrel and you know Mr. Hollow Point, I like super long to make up for those shortnesses in other areas of my life. All right, let's get down to this stock. What do you think of this, huh? You know, normally I camouflage everything. This is going to be the first gun that I actually leave stock, okay? I believe Alan told me that this is a maple stock. Did a wonderful stain and a low sheen on this, and I think it's just a work of art. It'd be uh, kind of sacrilege to ding this up with some paint. Uh, really nice looking. As always, on all their guns, got the nice big charge handle, the cock back, and the safety feature there. We'll get a little close up on that in a bit. Hey guys, stop making a mess. The cats are down here jumping on everything. And as all big bore air rifles, to discharge without firing, hold the cocking hammer back, hold the trigger down, and slowly let forward, take the pressure off. Now you're ready to go again. And as always, the teardrop bolt for the feed port, put your bullet in, you're ready to rock and roll. Locks down, always make sure everything's locked down for safety. Some of the things guys don't know about these guns is Brent does build in some extra safety features. There's an extra large bolt in here coming down, so even if you accidentally leave the uh, loading port open, it's not going to come off and bang you in the face and take out your head, okay? It's a very strong feature in there. Very nice. It's good to know that, you know, safety-wise. Uh, it shoulders nice as always, and this 500 Nitro Express, like I said, this is the first one to prototype, and it is really throwing the lead down there. We are shooting... Uh, I can't get it out, my little fingers. A 350 grain hollow point and 525 grain hollow point. Okay. Both sides to 510 diameter. The 350 is doing just over 900 feet a second. Okay, I think we're on 910, which is putting this just over three. 630 foot pounds of energy. I think it's like 636 foot pounds. All right. Uh, this bullet is screaming and it's hollow point mushrooms perfectly. Later on, we're going to shoot some ballistic gel. We're going to shoot us a big old jug of water. And I'm going to put in some of those pictures of that hog that we shot up at that place over in Michigan. Seven hundred plus pound big old hog, okay. Both sides full pass through this three hundred fifty grain bullet full pass through both sides at about thirty five yards. The hog just stood there and flopped over. So anybody telling you, setting their misnomers or misnomers about shooting a hog with my hollow points and then worried about it coming back and attacking you is just poor PR on that person's part, okay. Advertise what you got, be proud of it, and stand behind it. I stand behind my hollow points to do the job. Good bullet placement will do the job every time.
Well, what do you think, guys? What do you think of that ballistic gel? Check this stuff out. Oh, I'm telling you, this is the greatest stuff since, uh, I don't know, toast on a stick. What do you think? Okay, 16 inches long. Okay, 14 inch penetration. The first bullet went all the way through, full pass through, had a fragment break off. Second slug, 14 inches right there. Third one was the 525 grain, almost the same distance. You know, man, it's a lot of power and a lot of punch going through this stuff. And it's the same thing it did when I shot that giant hog. Same amount of penetration, you want all that energy to explode into the vital organs. That's the whole point of shooting a hollow point. Otherwise, you might as well just stick with a solid. The whole point is to get all that energy from that bullet dumped into the chest cavity. Take out the heart, the lungs. Just destroy all of that for a quick, clean kill. And this is a lot harder than a pig in a deer's entrails, but I'm telling you, it does a great representation to show you what your bullet does, how it acts upon impact, and what type of energy transference is from that gun and that slug into the carcass of a body. What do you think? I love this stuff. All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me. We'll try to do some close-ups here. Uh, I'm not too swift at this, so let's see what we can do. Okay, first I want to show you, as I'm playing here, is this is the ex air reservoir extension tube that Brent has. So, as I said before, I've got a 32-inch barrel on this gun, and this is where the standard air tube ends. But with the longer barrel, I wanted that little bit of more air that this baby holds for me. And it also gives me a little bit extra punch. So this is a regular off-the-shelf option that Brent has. It's not, you know, it's just it's not a special custom. Uh, he has these in stock. He can make them for you. And uh, if you decide to go with a longer target barrel, you can also add this air reservoir on for a little more punch. Uh, also, if you don't and you have a longer barrel, uh, the barrel band will just be moved over to here okay it's uh, a nice little feature and quickie option versus having to buy a whole nother charge tube and replace it if you're wanting to go with a longer barrel okay we'll move on over here and show some more details here hopefully this will be nice and crisp as always on all the extreme guns you have this safety notch right here so when the hammer bolt or handle comes back it can lock up into that position which then is a safety you don't have to worry if it slips or drops it's not going to pop off and discharge which for countries like Australia where they have that three foot drop where they drop the butt of the gun on the carpet uh, they want to make sure nothing you know discharges and this right here I believe is more than adequate to cover their requirements for what they want okay as always if I can do this, um, you got the teardrop loading bolt, okay, for the bullet. See that just slips right on in. Uh, I'm trying to do this one-handed and it closes down, okay. And a nice big gripping handle here, so if you've got gloves and stuff in the winter time, it holds. You know, you've got something to grip onto. You don't have to worry about it slipping off. Or when you go to discharge the rifle, you've got something to grip onto. Okay. Uh, as always, as I showed you earlier, but not a close-up, this is that universal stock. Uh, as you can see, this is even equal on both sides. I don't know. I was just going to show. So for the lefties and the righties, um, it's universal. The feel is just like a uh, thumb hole. It grips real nice at a hand. Okay. We'll back up. Uh, as always, I have my uh, old Alaskan Pro Beater Scope from Cabela's, which is, just goes from rifle to rifle to rifle with very little adjustments. Okay, and I believe Alan said this is a maple stock that we have on this one. It's got that beautiful look and shine. And I just wanted to kind of show you those little details up close, uh, which I'm really happy with this 500 Nitro Express. Uh, excuse the pig pen around it, uh, but if anybody knows me, you know, I'm an average guy, so we have an average mess. All right. Let's go look at some other stuff we just shot, okay?
All right, guys, we're shooting a piece of, I believe it's ballistic drywall. Okay, a friend of mine, David S., up in New York, sent it to me. And it's the stuff they use when they're building bulletproof houses. It's a drywall piece that goes in, and I guess you cover it up with regular drywall. It's like layers and layers of fiberglass and resin put together. Okay, we're going to shoot it with a 350 grain hollow point, and it is unbelievable what it does to this stuff. Let's check this out. What do you think of that ballistic drywall? Is that something else? Do uh, you see how it just, just flattened right out? I mean, it stopped the bullet, but it flattened right out. It shows you the type of energy that these air rifles are producing. Definitely not toys. Definitely not toys. Let's go shoot something else. What do you think of that water jug? Oh, it's actually just a cat litter jug. I, I thought it was just going to punch a hole in. I didn't know it was going to just bust in half. I got two and a half gallons of water in there I got to mop up. But did you see the, the amount of energy that's dumped into that? I even had the lid taped on there twice with tape to make sure it held. Just split that whole thing in half. These guns have a ton of power. And when you drop a hollow point in there, 350 grain, it is doing an amazing amount of work. You cannot beat this combination. The right gun with the right bullet, dead on. Hey guys, thanks for watching this. I hope you learned something. I learned something, having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, if you have any questions on these guns whatsoever or my hollow points, contact information will be at the end. You can call Brent, you can call Alan. They can give you more details on these. Uh, you can email me or call me about these hollow points. They're available. Um, you know, don't expect just you have to buy something from me if they build a gun. It's not like that. You know, we try to stick with calibers. It's always off-the-shelf ammunition that you can find on your own or you can cast if you want to. Okay, hollow points aren't for everything, and I'm the first to say that. But thanks for watching. Keep checking uh, YouTube on a regular basis as I'll be putting up more videos. We're having a lot more fun and hopefully a lot more animals to shoot. All right, thanks, and I'm sure you always get your pressure kept high.